George 811 has a very interesting history. Back in the late 60s, a contractor was excavating in the city of Hateful, Georgia. Well, the explosion that occurred killed several children and injured several adults. The Georgia legislature did not want this to happen again, so they passed a law very quickly that said you had to call before you dig if you were digging in the state of Georgia around gas lines. We actually were just five people in a little room talking on telephones all day long. It was part of Bell South, or Southern Bell, back then. Southern Bell supplied the employees, and Georgia Power and Atlanta Gaslight paid one-third each of the cost. And by 1986, we had moved the center out of Bell South, made it a private nonprofit corporation, and we were serving the state of Georgia. The first member companies of Georgia 811 were Atlanta Gaslight, Georgia Power, Southern Bell, and Clayton County Water. You know, I got in the industry back in 1982 and literally kind of right out of the gates, I met Claudette Campbell. Um, she was already a mainstay and a fixture with the OCSI One Call Systems International. Really, her enthusiasm about damage prevention and safe excavation really helped get me motivated and excited to stay in the industry. And Back in the late 90s they brought a group of stakeholders together, approximately 162, to sit down in a room and hammer out the nation's best practices. Um, from that the Common Ground Alliance was born back in 2000. One of the first tasks that CGA was faced with was trying to build and brand a national three-digit number that would work just like 911. So back in 2005, that number was assigned, and it was an unfunded mandate. But by 2007, 811 worked in all 50 states, and it was nothing short of a miracle that when we went live in Washington, D.C., every homeowner from Savannah to Sacramento could be able to make that call. OCSI was the main organization for the industry. They were all the one call centers. And then they exchanged ideas, but in 2000 when the CGA formed, it brought everybody together. And then the next step really was 2007 when 811 launched. That was really the unifying thing that allowed everybody to share marketing ideas and do national campaigns and, and really um, get everyone working together for the common good. I was at the right place at the right time and was given a job that only one other woman in the country held. And I'd go up in my car and I'd get out in my suit and heels and there'd be all these contractors there looking like, what is that woman doing here where I'm working? And I'd open my trunk and have sausage and biscuits for everyone and we'd have a little tailgate meeting about why to call before digging. And I realized that I had been given a diamond in the rough. We operate um, fiber optic cables, we've got coaxial cables, and we've got twisted pair copper cables. All of these lines transmit our communication services. Many customers are way out in the mountains, and so it's very important that they have quick, easy access to 911 and emergency services. If you were to look in underground, um, especially in an area like uh, Metro Atlanta, uh, you would see fiber optic lines almost crisscrossing each other un underground. This is just a very wired city. When I started in the 70s, most of the distribution system was overhead, and there wasn't as near as much of a problem with uh, people digging into underground facilities as there is now. But over the years, now the vast majority of the new distribution system is, is underground, or at least in subdivisions and places like that. So the, the risk of somebody cutting it or damaging it and causing the lights of the neighborhood to go out are, are, are actually high. We now serve over 1.6 million customers in the state of Georgia. Uh, we deliver gas hopefully safely and reliably for cooking, heating, and, and other gas uses. Our biggest threat is when people excavate around those pipelines because we have no control of those people. And so ultimately they can hit the pipelines and you have a release that could end up with a fire. Our goal is to provide everyone with clean water service. If we have an excavator out there and they damage a water line, it affects the neighborhood down the street, it affects the, the school down the street, it affects the fire department. Georgia 811 is a very valuable resource to contractors and construction companies like myself. 
as a contractor, we have to work around these lines. And we didn't have Georgia 811 there to help us get that information. We would cut off many homeowners from their basic daily resources. It's just a simple two-minute phone call that can make a huge, huge difference when you're looking at potential damage to the environment, potential harm to equipment, vital services to your community, or, or even personal injury. If you do call a locate-in and you give all of the utilities an opportunity to come out and locate their services, that's keeping you safe, it's keeping the utility protected, and everybody has a good day. Every single one of my crews has to understand that before we do anything on the job site, we have to have a locate ticket. As a company, we have to make sure that our employees understand these dangers and see the lines out there to protect themselves. It's so much easier to just make that call. If 811 didn't exist, there would be so much more risk to excavating, and it's really reduced that risk. If you're conscientious and you take advantage of the free service, um, the odds on you Getting through the day are almost 100%, and you're gonna go home safe to your family. On, on a national level, awareness of 811 has about doubled in the last five to six years. And in Georgia specifically, uh, we found that 811 awareness is higher in Georgia than it is on the national average. They are so committed to being out on the street and working with excavators and in fact all stakeholder groups that they have more awareness here in Georgia than probably anywhere in the country. We continue to see the amount of damages declining while new construction continues to rise. We also see that failure to call as a reason for damaging a utility declining. You want to see those declining stats. You know at the end of the day there's still a utility damage every six minutes. It used to be every two. We have a liaison staff that go out and meet with the excavators and homeowners and are known throughout the state as the face of Georgia 811. There's a dedicated person in each part of the state that a contractor or a utility operator can contact and have seek resolution on any issues that might be coming up. And I think a lot of people across the country have modeled liaison programs off of what Georgia has had for quite a long time. And I remember the first time Claudette said, hey, we're gonna do a locate rodeo. And in the back of my mind, I'm going, aren't you a call center? And thinking about logistically how tough that would be, didn't scare her. It was such a positive way to reinforce people who work so hard to keep our community safe and connected. It's been fun to watch. I think Claudette was able to look at it and say, you know, if we have good locators, we're going to prevent damage. And having a competition generally raises the bar. So having the locate rodeo got people all over North America thinking about locating better. And so it helped the whole country, not just Georgia. I did it really because the guy who goes and locates the lines never gets recognition unless he does something wrong. And I wanted to give them something to be recognized for do, doing the right thing, and that's locating correctly. Georgia 811 is a, a national leader when it comes to promoting damage prevention. Finding and identifying Cliff Meidel, the former Olympian, as a perfect spokesman for the message. Cliff really embodies why 811 is so important, why damage prevention is so important, because he had something go wrong on a job site and, and really is able to explain to other people why taking the extra steps to be safe is so important. As far as LJ Telephone is concerned, uh, Georgia 811 saves us all kind of time and money. It's free of charge to the customer. It's only paid for by the utilities themselves because it saves us money in the long run. One other important thing there, it's also the law. In other words, this is not something they're doing just for their benefit or whatever. It is the law of the state of Georgia. As a contractor, we cross thousands of lines safely every year without striking them. And that is because we followed the law, called Georgia 811, and got the utilities located. You know, over my years, and I'm working on my 36th year now, I have been asked 
many, many times. What do you do up there? Do you have a few people sitting there answering the phone? Well, nothing could be further from the truth. We don't just take calls from excavators and send them to utilities for them to be located, but we are all encompassing as far as being a training facility. We went from saying, hey, let's just be call centers to let's be an educational resource. We could do that training for the industry. Georgia 811's done an excellent job with incorporating technology into the damage prevention process. The investment in, in an app, in a positive response system, in an excellent online ticketing platform makes those processes work. Yeah, George A11 is absolutely an industry leader. They're always coming up with innovative ideas and it's partially the, the culture that's been created by Claudette and then hiring great people who are all very creative and innovative. That right combination of good systems and processes but also with really passionate people who um, convey that passion to everyone else. We are very passionate about damage prevention and not only as far as recovering our costs for a damage utility, but above that, the safety of the individuals that are affected by the damage. You can see it in everything that we're doing, the goals that we set, the visions that we have. Over these 27 years that I've been on the board, I've seen us go from a center where we were doing less than 100,000 locates a year to a point where we were doing over 1.3 million locates per year. The industry has been changing so fast, one probably wouldn't think about all the changes that are happening. We're now looking at electronic whitelining as options for someone to actually request a locate versus having to go out to a location and, and mark where they think they're going to dig. Moving forward uh, in the last few years, pretty massive movement away from calling to clicking to web use, trying to stay relevant and stay useful to not only the excavators calling but to the public and to developing any kind of web interface that George 811 would need for not only its member companies but for users of the service. I think the damage prevention industry as a whole is always trying to look to move the yardsticks. But when you know better, you do better. If you look at damage prevention and the legacy over the past 20 years, there's nothing you're going to look at that there isn't a fingerprint on it by Claudette Campbell. Uh, she's been such a major influencer and mentor on so many of our careers. Uh, the industry is where it is is because of compassion, of forward thinking that, that she's had, and just the energy and the dedication that her entire team has to keeping that state of Georgia safe and connected and helping their neighboring states and helping us as a country. People want to be a part of success. People want to be a part of Georgia 811. George 811 is always willing to volunteer to speak, to write articles, to do these things for the national good. It's invaluable because without that, everybody has to reinvent the wheel themselves. This is one job that gets in your blood. Uh, once you have worked in damage prevention, you never want to leave damage prevention because it becomes such a part of you. And I think really it's because there are so few of us, not just in the state of Georgia, but nationwide, that we have become a damage prevention family.